All right, excuse the sweatiness. I was just out skateboarding. Which reminds me, I actually have a story. A few Sundays ago, I was skateboarding at this skate park in DC. It's called Shaw Skate Park. Whoa, I just dropped the location. I shouldn't have did that. Whatever. Shaw Skate Park. And basically, I was really rusty. I barely even knew how to like stand on the skateboard, right? I just kept falling over, falling over. Couldn't really stand on the skateboard. Couldn't ride like more than a foot without falling or tripping. Then eventually just after falling over and making a fool of myself in the middle of the skate park while other people are trying to skate me, getting in their way, falling over and stuff, this guy, he comes up and he basically shows me all the basics, you know? He didn't really leave my side until I could fully skate a whole circle around the park, up the ramp, through all the obstacles, no tricks yet, no tricks. You know, up the ramp, through all the obstacles, and I could fully skate the park. I say that to say, that wouldn't have happened if I didn't go there and embarrass myself. You know, embarrassment is the cost of entry sometimes. I could have been like, oh, I don't know how to, you know, I don't know how to skate that good, so I'm just gonna, like, I'm not gonna go in front of people and make a fool of myself. No. I went in front of everyone who was there and made the biggest fool of myself. But that's what it takes. Because while you may be embarrassing yourself, you're also proving to everyone who's looking that you're trying. Someone would rather work with someone who's embarrassing their self but still trying hard rather than someone who doesn't want to try at all in the fear of embarrassing their self so go out be embarrassing do stuff embarrassing you know don't let anyone try to stop you from what you want to do just because you feel like you'll be embarrassed and let's really back to me doing music you know at first, I didn't want to show anyone that I did music because I was afraid that like, oh, what if it's not good? It'll be embarrassing, this, this, that, and that. But now I just throw it out there, you know? And people see you constantly trying, constantly trying, constantly trying, and you're going up. You can only go up if you're constantly trying and improving. If you're constantly trying and improving, the only way you can go is up. So be embarrassing. Anything that comes to your head that you want to do that may be embarrassing, that's the sign you should do it. If you feel like, I really want to do this, but it'll be embarrassing, that's your sign, right? That's your sign that you're not doing some regular stuff, you know? You're doing different stuff on another level, right? You have to be embarrassed, right? And that also builds up that confidence, right? In order to... Who texted me? in order to do other stuff, right? The more you do, the more embarrassing that stuff can potentially be, right? So going out and embarrassing yourself just from the jump builds up that confidence. If you can go out and embarrass yourself in front of a crowd full of people, you can do anything, right? Sometimes I've gotten on stage and it hasn't been the best performance, but I went up there and I embarrassed myself, right? And now next time I know, okay, this is what I shouldn't do. This is what I should do. You have to you have to put yourself out there. You'll never get out there being scared to be embarrassed. You'll never get out there. You'll always be right where you are right now, scared. And at the end of the road, you'll look back and you'll regret it that you didn't jump out there. So go be embarrassing because that's the only way you get in.